Thank you. Um, I have a question in regards to my finances. Um, last well, that year, is the only <laughs> thing we're not going to talk about today. <laughs> there is so little interest in that subject. Last year, I actually went through a process of losing quite a bit of weight. Um, I lost about 16 kilograms last year and I found it quite easy. What my question is, is I would also like to find that ease with my finances and to be able to have that natural flow so that I can achieve that vibrational realisation. Well now stop for just a moment and we appreciate your words and we know that it's always helpful when you're asking a question to lay it out in a way that everyone understands it. But we want you to think about what you just presented grid-wise to the universe. What did you really just say? That was easy, but this isn't. And this thing that isn't easy, I would like it to be easy, this thing that isn't easy. And there are other things that are easy, but this isn't one of them. This is not one of the easy things. This is a difficult thing. In fact, it's so difficult that I can compare it with almost everything else in my life. And almost everything else in my life is way easier than this thing that isn't easy. And if you would let me go on for a little bit, Abraham, I would like to explain to you that I think I represent a good portion of the population because almost everyone I talk to is not having an easy time either. And we say, you're practicing a grid. You're practicing a grid by facing reality. And we sort of want to shake you all loose from that facing reality. We know your perception is so good and there isn't anything that causes you to face reality more. Well, there are two things. Moving around in your physical body certainly is one of them because you sort of kind of mostly take it everywhere you go. And money is something that affects you really a lot too because it's tied into so many of the things that you are doing. But can you see how, we're talking not just to you but to so many, can you see how you have an opinion about money? An opinion is a belief, a belief is just a thought you keep thinking, it's just a grid you keep practicing that you don't need to practice. It's like, I need to face reality. Granted, Abraham, it's the reality I don't want to live, it's the reality I don't want to perpetuate, it's the reality I would like to leave behind me, but still, I think it's important to keep facing this reality. And we say, we wouldn't offer another word about a reality that we didn't want to keep repeating because every time you repeat the reality that you don't want to keep repeating, you practice your grid and you stand there as this point of attraction and law of attraction says, well, here you go. Here's some more of the thing that you don't want. This is what you're asking for. And so here's more of it. You can change it. But for now, here's what you're asking for. It is the hot seat, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And everyone's appreciating your very articulate presentation here and they're appreciating you being the object of attention as we are climbing your tree about this. But would you like to practice a different grid? Yes. And do you think that you have to practice the grid about the thing that you want? We're asking all of you. In order to get something that you want, do you have to practice the grid about that subject? No. You just have to stop practicing the grid that prevents it from coming. Did you hear us earlier when we said, sifting through the contrast, you've filled your vortex full of abundance. Step one is done. You don't have to go back and keep doing that. Step two has been taken care of too. All of the circumstances and events for the abundance more than you will ever be able to spend in this physical lifetime have been gathered for you. So step one and step two are done. What's step three? Think about anything that doesn't block it. Oh, I think I'll think about money. <laughs> Now, you could think about money. There are a lot of people that think about money who get plenty of money. And you think that the reason that they get plenty of money is because they've got plenty of money. But that's not why. Oh, it is easier to keep it going once it's coming. But it's the vibrational reality that you're wanting to focus upon. Every subject is really two subjects. You sort of get that? On one end of the stick is what's wanted, and on the other end of the stick is the absence of it. So when you talk about a subject like money, you activate it right where you've left it, unless you are really good at going general enough that you can move the vibration of it, you see. We think that it would be really helpful for you to focus upon another currency that is easily accessible to you that you cash in on all day, every day, 
And that's this vibrational currency. Because on the wings of this vibrational currency will come all the money that you want too. You just have to stop doing that thing you do about money. So now we cut you off pretty early in this conversation. And it would be a sort of remarkable thing if suddenly you could begin offering a plethora of wonderful allowing words about money. So we're not going to put you on that impossible spot because you can't change your vibration all of a sudden. You can't suddenly start thinking differently than you have been. But you can focus upon lots of things that put you in the step three allowing place. So did you follow that? Knowing what he doesn't want, a lot of you are doing it too, has caused him to put all kinds of financial abundance in this vortex. But he doesn't have access to it because whenever he thinks about money, he conjures a vibrational grid that won't let it flow in. It's so confounding, isn't it? I want it so much, why won't it come? That's why. And it's also not even necessarily focused on the money, it's the things that it will bring as well. So when looking at certain, say, you know, a trip or a holiday or, or things like that, then it comes back to, well, then how am I going to get the money? Even, even though I don't really have a huge issue with money being there, I could always find it. It's just that there's not that whole sense of, well, yeah, I could just do that. Well, do you hear the grid that you are still practicing? Yes. In other words, you're arguing for your limitation, you're explaining how it is, and of course you're right. Everything that you are saying is exactly right. It's just vibrationally off. And you just can't get there from there. Mm -hmm. You can't get there from there. So what do you do? What do you do when you're offering a vibration that won't let you have? It would be like, it's exactly like. So you've been working, you've been gathering up resources, and you've been depositing them in your bank account. And then you go to the automatic teller and you say, oh, look at my bank balance. It's really big because I worked last year and the year before and the year before and the year before and the year before and the year before. It's all in there. So give some of it to me. And it says, access denied. You got to be kidding me. Do you know how hard I work to put that in there? Other people are getting money out of theirs. What's wrong with you? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Access denied. Well, that's just freaky. Why would I not be able to get it out? Why can't I get it out? I know that I deserve it. Somebody needs to call somebody. <laughs> somebody needs to call somebody. And we know how frustrating it feels because when you want something that is not coming, it feels like someone else is preventing it or something that you don't understand is preventing it or something has gone wrong. And it is so simple. It's the simplest thing in the world. You are denying your own access because you keep feeling the way you feel about it. You gotta practice a different grit. So just now you were explaining to us, Abraham, I don't feel bad just because I don't have the money because who wants stinky old smelly old piles of money? It's what I can do with the money. And then you began to present to us the discomfort that you feel when you look out into this magnificent world and you see something that you would like to have or experience and you can't do it. And then you feel that emptiness. So how are we going to get around that? If you're standing in a place without something that you want and you can't get to it feeling the absence of what is it, whatever it is, how are you going to get to it? What's the answer? How are you going to get there? You've got to think about something else. Or you've got to find a way of thinking about it that isn't so blatantly, so starkly pushing against. So tell us about the things in your world that are working well. Um, this year, I started a new job that I really enjoy. It, Good. It's, um, I've got a great relationship with my partner. Yeah. Um, we live so close by to even today, it was just fantastic. It was just a five minute walk to yeah. get here this morning. So yeah. I know that there's things that are going well. Exercise is something that I, I find easy to do. Yeah. I, I enjoy getting out and running yeah. and, and I make friends easily and yeah. I've got a great network of friends that I know that I could rely on. Yeah. If I ever needed to rely on anybody, they would instantly be there, so. Hmm, really? <laughs> so they come to the rescue of you 
Well, no, I don't need rescuing. But... Well, if you need them, they come, you said. If yeah. you need them, they come. If I wanted something from them, I would be able to. Be able to. <laughs> Do you ask them for money? No. <laughs> we just want to help you to feel that you see, if we can help you to establish your conscious awareness of your relationship with this vortex, do you believe that you are the creator of your own reality? Yes. I do believe that we can create our reality. Yes. You believe that one can. Do you believe that you can? <laughs> I would like to, yes. <laughs> Does it make sense to you that you are emitting a vibration. Absolutely. And can you tell the difference between feeling really good and not feeling so good? Yes. And does it give you a personal sense of empowerment when you are tuned into that? Mm -hmm. A sort of feeling of invincibility. Mm -hmm. So you know what it feels yes. like when yep. you're allowing the energy to flow. And you know what it feels like when you're not. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you know how to create your own reality or you know that reality can be created. So where do you think the confusion is with you? In other words, you do believe that you're vibrational. You do believe that you do know that you can feel alignment or not. So are you saying to us that you just can't conjure that alignment at will? Mm -hmm. That it feels to you that things happen, but that they happen to you. So if we can convince you that everything that happens is your grid filling in and then we can convince you that you can conquer a grid then can you see how you can control what fills in because you're controlling what your point of attraction is mm -hmm. Ooh, that was the best logic that we have ever expressed <laughs> you know that don't you yes so as we're moving forward in the hours that are coming up we want you to listen to the process that we are offering with everyone who will be in the hot seat of moving them closer and closer to the grid that is necessary for them to allow what they are wanting these are the things that we want to say to you now this is what we know about your vortex but you're not ready to know it and it really is not that helpful when someone else knows it and that's the reason that we